it's 1.30 in the afternoon. We left Albuquerque, we left our house at 9.30 this morning. We've eaten twice. We ate breakfast in Socorro, and we just had a snack in Pie Town. Yes, we had pie, it was very good. We've eaten twice. It is four hours later, and we haven't yet left the state of New Mexico. We're heading to the Arizona border, but we're heading toward Cumado. It's a partly cloudy, a little bit windy day, and our stomachs are full. And we're heading to Phoenix for the Phoenix Type Inn. Well, you never guess where we're at. That's right, everybody. We're at the uh, Phoenix Type Inn at Changing Hands Bookstore, First Draft Book Bar, and all the gang is starting to show up here. It's going to be really exciting, as exciting as a type in can be. It's a lovely day in Phoenix, actually. Welcome to the Phoenix type in 2023. So, Ron, where did you guys come from to get to the type in? Uh, Plano, Texas, just Plano, north of Dallas. Texas. Just north of Dallas. So, an out of towner like me. Yeah. And what did you bring for us to see? We brought a promo code Avery. I uh, don't know what year it is yet because I have just got it last night. Yeah. Uh, we brought this. Faucet, uh, uh, awesome. 1620. Yeah, 1620. Yeah. And uh, brought the Olympia. Yeah. Right. Precursor. And then Susan brought. Oh, Olive. yeah. Susan's ambassador, right? Ambassador, yes. Yeah, I'm I'm take a look at it. Well, yeah. welcome. Thank you. And somebody brought a telephone, it looks like. Actually, what's interesting about this phone, we found it in a state cell in yeah. Dallas. And it matches that, obviously. But the phone number on here is time and temperature in my hometown of Cleveland, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and look, she has the whole green office accessory thing going on here. <laughs> and who walks in but Gregory <laughs> How Short. Are you? How you doing? <laughs> so good to meet <laughs> you. Good to meet you, too. <laughs> you just guys just flew in and your arm's tired or something? Uh, we, or drove. Oh, you we drove. drove yeah. Yeah. We drove. We got in last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, how are you going to stream? Uh, yeah, I have I have my cell phone all set up. And oh, I okay. Have a, so you got batteries and yeah, I have a. Ah, uh, you're a all set up. Yes. Oh, hey, hey, how are you? Doing? How good to see you. Did you have a safe you. trip? I had a safe trip. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you went through Pie Town. Oh yes, we did. My mom used. To, my mom grew up in Eager in Springerville, and she used to go to Pie Town for <laughs> a, a night out on the town. It's pretty good pie. It is pretty good pie, actually. Right. Yeah. Well, this is what I brought. I brought my English-made uh, Hermes rocket made by Empire, and I brought the Smith Krona silent with the vertical script. Did you see Ron's new Calibri? Oh, yeah. Yes, I did, and I saw your whole setup with your ambassador and all your green accessories. Oh, you did it upright. Ted said he wanted it. He wanted it. He did. <laughs> He did it so good. He did it so good. That's, that's like the showpiece of the whole thing. You come right in, and it's right there. Well, you guys should look at the inside of the ambassador and see how the ribbon spool thing works, because you know it's dual ribbon vibrator. Oh yeah, that's so right. So you can switch. One of those complicated things. Okay. It's not complicated. No, yeah, it works good. Yeah. yeah. But what about you, Darwin? You do. Uh, are you a repair person, right? I am. Yeah. So you have a professional shop that you've been work, working at? Yeah, for over 50 years. 50 Years. I actually started when I was 12 years old. Did you really? Was it your dad's shop? Or? Yeah, my dad's. And he wasn't real mechanical, and that stuff all came real easy to me. Yeah. So good. I started then, and I, uh, then I went to electronic school. This is in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. So how's business? Very good. That's good. Very good. I've had uh, people come and do videos, TV stations, and then they post them on all their stations all over the United States. Wow, so, very good. So I get stuff from all over. It there. is a popular yeah. subject matter these days, right? It, it really is. <laughs> yeah. And it's nice to have uh, Susan and collectors like that yes. that value my work. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We all value the work of the experts <laughs> like you guys and know how to fix them. <laughs> so tell me what got you started in make, doing a type in this year? Um, I was sitting around waiting for one to happen and it just didn't. Yeah. Um, actually, we found out that there was a type in that here that we missed. Oh. Uh, Ted and I never heard about. And then Bill Wall said, oh, this type in a couple weeks ago. Well, that's just silly. We should have yeah. a big one that, right. that we announce in advance, and there's yeah. lots of advertising. Yeah, and, yeah. that's so, really good. 
And I like your tags. Oh, you guys made. They're really good. Thank you. Yeah, you guys did a really good job. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. It's turned out pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's just just getting started. The fun right. is just getting started. That's right. Well, thanks a lot for doing this. How are you, Joe? <laughs> hey, good, Bob. That it's is Bob so Marshall. good to see you. I haven't I am seen so you. I'm so excited to be here with you. <laughs> I know. Well, you drove in from Riverside, right? Well, you drove in from Albuquerque. Albuquerque. That's Last kind night. of the middle spot. It is kind we of the middle spot. hang out here more often. Yeah, we should, right? Yeah. yeah good to see so you. This is working out well. <laughs> what did you bring for us to see? Oh, I just grabbed something off the showroom. Floor. Looks like a Hermes. Yeah, yeah Hermes Media 3. It's kind of a different different beast but um, yeah. you know a uh, little narrow a little strip down is media threes are right. compared to other things I like these actually they're very yeah oh yeah and this is the middle body style of the three Hermes 3000s you know I like that body style oh yeah yeah, yeah. and it's um you know new rubber all the usuals you'd yeah. expect from yeah. us so yeah we, we had, a, had a really good time with it well I, I like all, all your, your it pins your self I know I'm really getting the uh, I'm really getting done up, and then uh, Greg, Mr. Type Pals, just gave me some cool I know. Swag. I just stuck my swag in my in, bag. So I can, can take it home. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to re represent. Maybe we can get a shot of us right quick. I know it's yeah. video, but it counts. Yeah. Believe it or not, we're friends. We don't hang out as much as we want to, but we know each other. <laughs> Hi. Mr. Joe Van Cleef, hey, I'll never remember up? me, Jeremiah, Yes, right? I remember you. Uh, and I still have my, again. my shirt, and the shirt has shrunk. Same. Or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, you have an Olympia white carriage SM9, is it? I do, yes. And I got two machines right there. Yeah. What's to bring? I got the letter 32 and the Royal QB. Yes. Wow, this is fantastic. So awesome. you're still typing, still creating with, with typewriters, huh? <laughs> I've slowed down a little bit, but yeah, I still got a collection and everything. Great, fantastic. Awesome. I don't know if you uh, know, but um, I've actually organized a few typings. Yes, I understand you have. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I missed some of those. I'm glad awesome. to meet you now. It's good to see you again, Joe. Thank you. Good to see you. My name's Adrian. Hi, I just brought in a typewriter from my dad that my dad oh, yeah. used to have. Smith Corona Clipper. And it looks like it types pretty good. Well, probably needs a new ribbon. It needs a new ribbon for sure. <laughs> but we can handle that. <laughs> Came in three colors. The uh, Smith Corona Super G. Oh, yes. From 1971 to 77, I think. Oh, yeah. I'll set it up here. And uh, they were designed by the desi car design company, Gia. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and they also had a third color, which was brown. Brown. Oh, yes. Depends on your mood. <laughs> exactly. Coincidentally, they... Uh, they overlap with the Volkswagen thing. Oh, yes. And I think this would go, I don't know that they, they had that Acapulco model of the blue one. Right. So, yeah. That's I, I nice, like your thinking. It's a nice color scheme, you know, with a racing stripe. That means you can type faster. That means it's fast. And not only that, it has something called a power space. Oh, yes. That's right. It mechanically spaces repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. And something cool called error control, which I think we all can agree. We yes. all need it. We lives. all need error control. <laughs> so what do you think of this? Uh, well, I, well, I said I, I just, I just uh, proclaimed myself the child of a, of a royal <laughs> owner. Oh, yes. And owner of a Remington myself. Oh, okay. And my son has a couple typewriters oh, also. Oh, this so is, these are the pretty ones, right? I know. I, I, really think my, I just said my mom typed my father's two or three hundred page thesis oh, yes. on oh, one of these wow. and she typed really really fast oh wow she wow. was clerk to the to the board of education it's always fun to hear stories and i know people use them in real life you know yeah so uh yeah so that and then it was typed with uh they had to do i remember sort of four copies oh, with, yeah. with um onion skin <laughs> yeah. and carbon and paper carbon. Clean it. 1897. The Smith Premiers were very distinctive from all the other models because they had um, they had metal plating that was very decor on the sides oh, on the sides yes. of their machines, yes. and that was the only um, model of, of Smith Premier that they ever did that that kind of decoration. Number the uh, number fours, number twos, and threes. They just have your generic um, standard paneling. So, some other variations of the of the model one and number two. Some of them had um, different keys down here. Other keys. Some of them had a different uh, size of space bar. Oh yes. Some small differences from here and there from the different uh, Smith and Mirror models, but they're all virtually the same. 
They're very interesting. Very interesting. This one's what they call an a, a, um, understrike model. Oh, yes. You have to flip it up to see what you're written. Yes. Yeah. You could not see what you were printing at all. So, no no mistakes. A blind typer. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, well, that's something. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I was now he's so conscious. <laughs> How do you like the feel of it? I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, I was saying I the, the shift key is really far for me. Yeah. But it's only because I have a different machine. So it's right. just a. I'm not used to the full carriage shift. So it kind of yeah. visually throws me off. Well, it's sort of like a pivot. Yes. It's, instead of a, lift, a full lift. And this but, actually also feels quite different yeah. than my other machine. It's really nice though. So I've this is like, what you're. I think it's 40s based on what I've seen. Yeah. I haven't had any. Uh, Quiet Deluxe. That guy says 48, so we'll 48. see. Uh, that's not me typing. Well, but so yeah. how long have you had this? In my possession, probably like six months, but I just yeah. got billed to fix it oh, okay. like probably two weeks ago. So you So I've been hammering now? away at it, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. these are wonderful machines both to use and to look at also. Yeah, yeah, no, I've I've only taken it out of the case fully about twice, and when you do, you really see it for what it is, you <laughs> yeah, know, and it's, right. it is nice, yeah. It is. Gregory and I were talking about at the balloon fiesta, the okay. pilots all have pins of their balloons and they trade pins, buy and mm -hmm. sell and trade pins. So all these people have all these like jackets with all the pins. The pins on Should them? we start doing typewriter pins? Um, or, or postcards? What do you think would be better? Postcards, postcards are cheaper. Postcards are much cheaper. Okay. Like I think I think enamel pins. Yeah, the enamel yeah, pins. They're, yeah, they're they're kind of expensive. They are. People who own balloons can yeah. afford to have, have See, that's the problem. enamel pins. <laughs> you know, if you go into a type in and drink in champagne, yeah. you're a balloonist, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm good. What's I'm up? Dead, yes. I'm Danielle. Nice to see Van you. Cruz. I know. I see you. You're still on YouTube. How are you? Oh, fantastic. I'm nice great. to meet you. I yeah. know. I'm in the group, and I got the invite, and I'm like, okay, I'm coming. I'm going to do it. I've got to get over there. So do you have a typewriter? Yeah. Yeah, I have a few. Like a few? I have 10. Oh, yeah. see, that's a few. Yeah. Right? That's a yeah. start. I was using them for um, education. I used to be a journalist. So now oh, I teach fantastic. a public speaking oh. workshop. So I would bring in oh, everything wow. that's not technical. Technology. And so oh, I bring I in dictionaries, that. typewriters. So I had three schools in Chandler that contracted me to come in and teach fifth graders. Wow. And it was all vocabulary enhancement, writing. Yeah. And it makes you think yeah. a little differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to emphasize to the kids because a lot of them have a hard time using their imagination. Uh, I know, and yes. so when you can get them to step outside of the technology based form of thinking right. and really right. utilize their <laughs> thoughts to visualize it to make it to come to life it's a very oh, yeah. different oh, yeah. technique it is really and yeah. writing on a type I said this type writer you got to do everything right I said you exactly. got to do everything you got to know how to spell yeah. I said it's going to make you proficient That's and right. they were like it takes so long I said but it's good it's good yeah well so of all the machines here which ones oh my gosh I'm seeing some, some beauties I'm like <laughs> should come home with me yeah you always have to go back to bring yourself Forward. I tell people that all the time because you have to appreciate you can alter tweak you can learn you can respect right and ultimately grow so it's always good no this is fantastic when did you get the facet here two weeks ago two weeks ago and it is a script typeface it is a script typeface oh yeah and if anybody out there doesn't know they have the smoothest carriage it's just so smooth but you said this one was all gummed up, right? It was. It was very gummy, and I tried a variety of different things to clean it up. I started with the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. That didn't work very well. Then I went to lighter fluid. That didn't help very much. Then I went to acetone, oh, yeah. nail polish. Oh, yeah, remover. Remover. Yeah, yeah. I applied heat with a hair dryer <laughs> that temporarily worked and oh. then two days later it would slow down and get stuck and I'd have to do it all over again. But finally, I think I've finally got it. It feels so. really good. Tell us about the ambassador. Okay, well, it's from 1964. Right, right. His name is Andre the Giant. Of course. Yeah. Because he, he's a giant typewriter. He's a giant typewriter. And now, did you bring the document holder also? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And so what is this? You, you can literally turn yes, it? Yes, you can literally, you can do this, and it will go up or oh, down. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. 
You can raise and lower it with You can knob. raise and lower. Right here, it would your show you line, yeah. your typing line. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you can come back down. Go up. Come back down. Um, and it has a paper injector. Right. So Hermes was the first company to ever have a paper injector, actually. Okay. Okay. 1948, wow. when they came out with the Ambassador, it had the paper injector. It has a 10-inch paper support. Wow. Beautiful. It has five different uh, line spacing line settings. Spacing. One, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It uh, has two margin releases. <laughs> it has a regular margin release, which gives you like five characters, and then you get three yeah. extra characters if you use the if extra use the margin extra one. Okay. release. Nice. This particular ambassador is special because he has the carbon ribbon. Oh, right? that's right. So you can do carbon and cloth. At the same time. The same time. Because it has a dual vibrator system. A system. dual vibrator that, oh, wow. Um, now, how do you switch between them? Right, right here. So right oh, now it's yeah. set on carbon. Yeah. There will be the blue, the black. Then you have the middle Stencil. setting Stencil. Yeah. of the fabric ribbon. Yeah. Stencil and red. Oh, wow. It also has these little switches, and what that does is it allows you to Lower clean, clean a, behind the card guides. Behind the card guides, or if you're doing a lot of copies, yes. you would be able to adjust yes. the pressure oh, on I the see. platen. Right. That's wonderful. What a great machine. And this right here is a is a D jammer. This is your uh, setting for your tension. Oh, okay. Wow. So when it's all the way over here, it's low. Right. right. And then you can go and all the way up here. QD jammer here. QD jammer here. Uh, the big tab key. Gigantic. And a gigantic backspace. <laughs> exactly. You're not going to miss that. You can set your tabs from the keyboard. Um, oh, that's fantastic. And I love this graphics on the Well, thank to, God for it because we wouldn't have known how to, set, <laughs> how to yeah. thread it if it hadn't had that yeah. on it. Yeah, be out of luck. So then you have some accessories. We here. have accessories. We have paperweight. Paperweight. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. It's really nice. My tape dispenser. We have oh, our yes. beautiful Ace Liner stapler. Oh, yes, yes, of course. We have our coffee cup. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we have our phone Let's that swim. Mr. Monk sent me. <laughs> it's a trim line. Trim line, yes. That's great. So, of the era. <laughs> yes, of the era. Well, that's great, Susan. I'm glad you took the trouble to come all the way out here oh. with all your toys. Well, we're having the best time. Oh, it's fantastic. And the typewriter community is really great, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Everybody is so fun yeah. and so friendly and yeah. so helpful. This typewriter, I worked for the German government in Houston for a number of years. Yes. And of course, uh, then computers, etc., came in in the 80s and 90s and so on. And when we moved our offices to a new location, Everybody was looking at this typewriter and said, well, you know, by that time we're all into computer. Let's just toss it because it has a sticker on it actually to be ready to move to new location. Oh, yes. And nobody said, that's a waste of time. I said, well, I'll take it home so with you me. Took it home. <laughs> Did you use this when you yeah, were Yeah, because yeah. I said I actually had a similar one. An Olympia, a lighter weight uh -huh. portable one, because yeah. I'm German myself. Yeah. And one summer when I was in Germany, that was before computers in the 1960s, I bought, I wanted to type some letters, and I, my grandfather actually gave me 100 Deutschmarks to buy myself a little Olympia typewriter. But Has it been a good event so far? It's been a great event so far. I, mean, I don't think it was ever this big before. We were using like a third of the room before. Oh yeah, yeah. Now it's just everything's packed, and we're crowding out the laptop people into the corner, <laughs> which I think is funny. They moved my typewriter. <laughs> That's, That's right. okay. That's um, okay. I just had to find it, make sure we're still here. Yeah. So <laughs> you got a beautiful tipa. Yeah. Tipa one. Yeah. And this is also your collection. Yep. And the reason why I know that is not only have I been at your house, but it's your color scheme. It's my red and you're black. Very, you're red and black. You're very color coordinated in your collection. Are you going to have this once a year, maybe, or twice a year? Uh, I definitely have it once a year, for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, part of the success, I think, is that we advertise so early. Right. We, we started um, th three months ahead of time. Yeah. Letting people know about it. Yeah. So it, it just worked out great. I'm really yeah. happy with it. Well, I just want to congratulate you for such a great event. Oh, thank you. And thank you for inviting us. Thanks for coming. Yep. 
it looks like Mr. Gregory needs a refill of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of this ambassador, huh? Uh, I know. I'm in love with it. So I guess if you had to have only one typewriter, would this be it? I could see that. I mean, this is worth the desk space. Oh yeah, even definitely. have the document holder, right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, the feel of it is amazing. The keys look amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Continue, <laughs> and I will film you typing. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> this is Ron Kelsey, and you started into typewriters differently, I guess, than some people, right? Yeah, my, uh, my wife, Susan Coover, got a typewriter in 2017, her first typewriter, and I said, okay, fine, you know, she's getting a typewriter. And... Gradually, the enthusiasm built. We started going to estate sales, and to me, at first, it was a thrill of the hunt. I loved, I loved helping her find them. And then we hosted our first type in rather last year, and I started getting the bug then, <laughs> yeah. and, and started getting learning more about the machines, the different, different machines, different typefaces, and the different uses and all that. And now it's like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm addicted. So you know, is it just, it wasn't just the mechanical nature of them, right? No, it's not the mechanical. To me, it's the creative side. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah it's the creative side. I'm not a mechanic by any means. I'm not that mechanically inclined. Uh, Susan, Susan knows more about fixing machines than I do. This is what I find interesting, right? Because men can be stereotyped into being tinkerers only. Right. But you're... I'm not, I'm not necessarily a tinkerer. No, yeah. I, I grew up... Help my dad work on old cars. Right, but I'm not a yeah. I'm not a tinkerer by nature. Yeah. But I, I really appreciate your your writings, the poetry you write. Well, I, I, that's it. I've always had that in my head, and I've always wanted to wanted to do something like that. I, I thought, to me, songwriting is fascinating. I, I can, yeah. you know, I can hear a song and just appreciate the way the words are put together. I thought, well, you know, I, I would love to do that. Now, get stuff in my head. My handwriting's horrible, so I, I I can't put anything on paper and and. and admit to writing it you know <laughs> so typewriters have, have given me that outlet because i can put something on paper and someone can actually read it i don't want to sit down and write the, the rhyme of the ancient mariner i just want to write a few lines about what i'm thinking about right right and that's that's where it comes from i i appreciate that thank yeah. you ron sure thank you yeah. and that ted is secretly lusted I after secretly a, lusted an after adler privat for many years okay. ever since richard polt got one Snappy machine. It's snappy. Yep. The verdict is he wants it. I want one, yes. Well, before we close here, I must mention that uh, the Corona 3 of mine and the case have been reunited. The Corona 3 has all new rubber, courtesy of Bill Wall, Mesa Typewriter Exchange. And the case was re finished, recovered by Bob Marshall of Typewriter Muse. So two master typewriter people worked on the case and the machine, and now they're reunited. And this is a 1930 Corona 3, and it's looking as good as it ever has since it was new. And I'm happy about that. Well, in case I haven't said it, I wanted to thank everybody for inviting us to the type in here in Phoenix. It was a great success. It's continuing right now. People are hobnobbing and having a great time with the typewriters. And again, thank you to Brian Good and Ted Monk for organizing the event. We'll be back here next year if we can. In any event, stay creative, everybody, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.